let's go with the food notes in here now food notes is very easy we have by the way we have two things in microsoft word one is footnote and the other is endnote uh footnote is where you can create a really note on a word on the page not at the end of the pages okay on a particular page for example this powerful word is in this page and you can insert a note in this page how you can do that so you can click on it and right now you can see it says paragraph one and i hope you can see that okay Par powerful one and then in here it says one you can say an example okay or maybe you just define it okay what that word means and about the end notes it's a it's a little bit different for example uh, you want to have with way in here you want to go with way uh, so you insert end note and this will insert at the end of your document so that's the only the difference so it's called why that's why it's called end notes so you can click in here now this is the end page and it's set in there isn't added i can add its define and definition all right so that's it i'm gonna go back again uh let's go back again to the particular pages we want it i'm gonna zoom out to look even nicer okay this looks nicer okay this font by the way this font is really great and it's very awesome so that's about the unknown and footnote i can go to next phone node or i can go to previous i can go to next end node and previous end node as well we have also show notes where we can see uh show notes as well and here view footnote area view end node area all right so that's about it you can see if i'm gonna go footnote area so there you go there is it and here we have smart lookup where we can add a smart lookup of anything uh, we want it through the internet so that's only the internet about situation caption and index and table of authorities uh it's a little bit tricky uh not tricky too much uh for now let, i'm gonna go only as a theory okay but if you needed any help of me on these things so please put some q a section in there that you need my help and you wanted to understand it even more about citation so citation is you can add a new source okay it's like uh use citation like resource okay you manage your resources you can add click in here and you can add a citation to uh the end of your document maybe uh maybe to the end of document yes to the end of document and then uh, oops this shouldn't come in here Okay, let me just undo that. Okay, we're gonna undo that. We're gonna go to the end page and hit enter. So you can add a citation to your end document, like add place, add new source holder, add new source, or add placeholder. So you have two choice: add new source. You can add. You can say you can type of. You can choose the type of citation or resource or source and then you can add document for example it's a book so you type the author you type the uh, corporate author title year city publisher all of that is available for you once you fill that information you can hit ok and that is added to your document so that is about the resource and source and you can add also placeholder you can click in here now this is a placeholder and then you can say uh, type your name in here you can click an add citation uh oops and you can click in here you have lots of job things right in here convert citation to static text or update citation to biography or add source you can have a lot of things so it's placeholder and you can say type your so it's about the tag name okay type yourself let me just type you hit okay and it says type you and for now, we can, of course, we can really write over it. It's only a placeholder. Uh, and we can only do that from the edit in here. Okay? We can do only edit in here. For example, one. 
fifth type and this is type group number one i can only add it to the statistic also i can add it to the static page in here static text and i can also it is source and add citation so about this one at source, I can come in here and I can choose anything I want. It. Okay, that's only the thing. Okay, that's the only difference between that between the source and new between add new source and add new placeholder. Placeholder is somewhere. It's something that you can add in here, and it and then also has placeholder, and you can bring later on from the add, from the source. But source is only adding source. So anytime you add a source or placeholder, this will be added to this part. We can also manage it from manage source. We can change their style in here. We can also go to here and to see more information about it. Now, for example, insert bibliography. And for now, I didn't have anything else. So that's why it's not showing up. So that's about citation and bibliography. Captions is where you add captions of images. For example, you bring an image in from here and you want it to have for example i'm going to make it really smaller uh, i'm going to go with the reference answered caption caption and then i can figure set figure one and i can choose figure two and i can change their labels as well i can have a new label i can change the position of the text caption in here uh, i can exclude label from captions also i can delete this label if it's not default i can add also numbering and I can choose down brings as well. And I have auto captions as well. It's uh, auto captions is a little bit different. So we're going to go with insert caption, click OK. So there you go, it has all uh, it's added. And later on, once I added a lot of fixtures, figure uh, captions, and I can insert table of figures as well. And I can update the table, for example, let's add it. So there you go, I have added. And I can update it, and I can go also with cross reference and add even more. This one is also the same. Okay, you add selected text to the index and you can add it, add it later on to the index and you can update your index list. This is also about mark citation. You can add it and then you can also insert table of authorities and table of citation. Mm -hmm.